Welcome everyone, one and all, to my reaction to Season 1, Episode 6 of Team Wolf Heart Monitor. So, last time we had an episode focused on the parent-teacher conference, and it ended with a very chaotic scene in the car park where a mountain lion was shot and killed. Now, given that the police are still unsure as to what creature killed Derek's sister, I do wonder whether this was an attempt by the Alpha to... I don't know, make them think that this was the creature that was doing it all along and to try and cover his tracks, but I guess we will have to wait and see. But yes, with that said though, very excited to get into it and see where we go from here. So without further ado, let's go. Huh? Alpha? Who is this? Or do I feel like with advanced hearing, it'll be able to hear your breathing or even your heart? Oh, this is smart. Is he doing it to, like, make the alarms go off so that the sound is covered? If that was the plan that he had there, that is really fucking smart. Fuck. Is it Styles? It has to be. Derek? You're dead. Don't tell me that was all a bloody test, Derek, because I'll be pissed. What the hell was that? I said I was going to teach you. I didn't say when. Oh, for fuck's sake. With the car alarm thing, that was smart, right? That was smart. Right. Yeah, but that was... I mean... Would you just stop? <laughs> I am what I am because of birth. You were ah. bitten. Teaching someone who was bitten takes time. So intriguing. Like, how does that work? Does it mean that if Scott had a baby right now, it would be born a werewolf? Is it literally just genetics? Or is it like a different subspecies of werewolf because i'm so intrigued about how all of this is connected you have to get rid of distractions you see this this is why i caught you you want me to teach you get rid of her get rid of her he's not gonna do that wait, 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 wait. okay that was fucked up you getting angry you want to learn how to control this how to shift you do it through anger by tapping into a primal animal rage and you can't do that with her around intriguing now can you stay away from her I and don't think he can. Like, he's a teenage boy. If you can teach me, I can stay away from her. I'm sure you mean well, Scott. I don't think you can. Like, I think that you are physically going to be, like, unable to, just given by how obsessed you are with her already. But um, moving on from that, um, the whole idea of tapping into, like, a primal animal rage. Like, how? How is that something that you just have innately within you all the time? Because I feel like a lot of us... A lot of us don't deal with anger very well. It's a very common human thing to not deal with anger very well. But the idea of always having like a pot of anger to just access, I don't understand how that works with your brain. Like, how do you just stand here normally think, right, I need to turn. I need to make myself angry. How do you do that? Because I don't know how to make myself angry. You must have to have so much discipline over your brain and your emotions. Good job, Scott. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Doing homework, sending some emails. Emailing the boyfriend. No. I'm emailing PETA about how my wingnut father gunned down an innocent mountain lion in the school parking lot. Oh, uh, we're shit. Not having anything to do with the fact that you're grounded and you can't see Scott? Interesting that she has that opinion of the mountain lion, because then I don't think she would do well going into the family business. I have to come up with a report that has some relevance to my own family history. Specific to your family? Why? Do you have any ideas? Rot row. It's an old French legend that. Believe it or not, has something to do with your family. Oh. 1766 in a province of Lozère, the bet killed over a hundred people. So a werewolf. Definitely wasn't a mountain lion. What's it look like to you? It looks like. What's the wolf? A wolf. Yeah. Little bit of family history there then. So what? Did their hunt beginning start then then? Was that like the very beginning of the family legacy of being werewolf hunters? Or was it even before then? Was that like just the like most recorded incident in the past it seems like her aunt is like slowly bringing her into the fold like she keeps giving these little hints to allison kind of like building it up so very intrigued to find out more about that and to see an actual conversation between the aunt and allison's dad over how they're handling the history with allison because i feel like her dad was doesn't want to get her into the family business that's the vibe i've gotten so far it seems like he's a little bit against it whereas the aunt seems to want to so Interested about that family dynamic. Oh. Oh, shit. Derek, I, 
I know I said I would stay away, but you broke my phone. I had to at least tell her why I wasn't answering. That wasn't why you were there, Scott. Come on now. Shit. Oh my Christ, it's terrifying. Oh, he's doing the spiral thing. What is the significance of this? What does the spiral mean? We've seen it like three times now. And yeah, he's not actively attacking Scott at the moment. So he must still see it as like as though Scott has a chance to join the pack. Oh my Christ, Derek. Remember your other senses are heightened. Communication doesn't have to be spoken. What kind of feeling did you get from him? Hey, anger. Focused on you? No. Especially when he drew the spiral. Ooh. Wait, the what? What'd you just say? He drew the spiral on, uh, on the window of my car. No, it's it's nothing. Wait, 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 wait. A so is is the anger towards Derek? Is that what we're getting at here? Because we know that Derek was the one who we originally saw with the spiral when it related to his sister's grave. But um, yeah, so uh, one thing that I noticed there was Derek getting a bit annoyed that Scott didn't know what he meant when he said, did you get an impression? It's just like, D Derek, you have to understand, if you have not taught him anything, he does not know it. You know what I mean? Like you haven't taught him about this yet, so he will not know. You need to stop being so angsty. <laughs> you buried your sister under a spiral. Ooh. What does it mean? You don't want to know. Yes, he does, please, because I want to know. And if Scott doesn't know, then I don't get to know. <laughs> I love the transitions that they do. They're so cool. Stay from Jackson. Stay from Jackson. Oh, come on. Also, hello, Lydia. Bit a bit. Still not talking to me? Bless. Can you at least tell me if your dad's okay? Oh my god, not gonna lie, I forgot that the dad got hit by the car. The car, wasn't it? It wasn't the line itself. Yeah, it was a car. What if I told you that I, uh, I'm trying to figure this whole thing out and... You're blessing me is trying. To Derek for help. If I was talking to you, I'd say that you're an idiot for trusting him. <laughs> but obviously I'm not talking to you. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? All right, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but every time you do that, you try to kill someone. And that someone's usually me. I, know. I think the point is that you have to do it enough times to learn to control it, you know? I have to be able to control it. Well, how's he going to teach you to do that? I don't know. I don't think he does either. It's literally one of those vibes of, like, you have to get angry. You have to, to, you have to force it out so that you can learn to control it because at the end of the day there will be a time where you will get angry and then you won't know how to control it like you do right now and so it would just all be fucked i have to work all right well that gives me to the end of the school day then to do what to do what to teach you myself uh right look i'm i'm very much down for helping him but i don't know about teaching him because you don't know either <laughs> cryptozoologists believe it may have been a subspecies of hoofed predator possibly the masonican slipping into a coma board <laughs> lydia it is believed that labette was finally trapped and killed by a renowned hunter who claimed his wife and four children were the first to fall prey to the creature it's gonna be her our ancestor his name was argent Boom. my ancestors killed a big wolf so what Oh, for fuck. Lydia, one. right, come on now. If your friend was sitting in front of you talking about this, like, history book that goes back to the 1700s and it's their family member, that would be fucking cool. Like, I don't care if it is just a wolf. Like, imagine if it was just a wolf that entered a town and killed 100 people. It's still fucking cool, you know? Take a look at this picture. What does it look like to you? <sighs> that looks like a werewolf more than a wolf. Oh, shit, yeah, Lydia. Lydia? Oh, yeah, I forgot she'd seen it. It looks like a big wolf. See you in history. Bless her. Trying to put it to the back of her mind and not think about it. Makes sense when it was something that absolutely terrified her. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Scott, that is fucked up. That is so clear that you are avoiding her. I don't think Scott's understanding that the stay away that Derek was talking about meant like break up, <laughs> like break up and fully avoid, not just like not talk to Allison and vanish from her life. Isn't this one of the heart rate monitors for the track team? Heart yeah, monitor. Borrowed it, stole it, temporarily misappropriated. Misappropriated. Ooh. This is exactly how I wanted to spend my free period. <laughs> All right, ready? No. Remember. Oh, he's got to get angry to break out of it. Okay. 
This is a great way for um, Styles to get his anger at Scott out. <laughs> 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 Jackson's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Christ, Tom, you don't have to throw him that hard. Oh. Right row. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. The angrier I got, the stronger I felt. So it is anger then, Derek's right. Yeah. I can't be around else. Just because she makes you happy? Because she makes me weak. Intriguing. Huh. That's that's a very interesting point, actually. I didn't think about it in that regard. Like, if you consider the fact that getting angry is the way that you make yourself stronger, if you're around someone who makes you feel loved, makes you feel safe, makes you feel happy, it's harder to get angry, thereby you would be weaker. What an interesting take. You know, this whole women make you weak thing is a little too Spartan warrior for me. <laughs> it's probably just part of the learning process. I do think it's part of the learning process, but I think it will take a lot of learning to get to a point where he's going to be good to be with Allison. Know what I mean? <laughs> is it like infected? What's going on? Oh, I suppose it does look a bit pussy. I mean, yeah, I assumed that he was imagining that, but what is going on? If that was something that would result in someone changing, I think Derek would have been like on it already. You know, like he's had interactions with Jackson. He knows that he scratched him and all of that. He would know what would be happening here and he wouldn't just be allowing Jackson to be going about his daily life. So what is going on here? Why is he like having this such big reaction? What are you reading? Oh, hey, uh stuff for a history project mm. why is this so ominous did you have a free period or no i i just don't like sitting through cam <laughs> understandable mm. well i don't like this guys i really don't did you want something actually uh, yeah i wanted to talk about i realized that i've been a jerk to you and especially to scott and i wanted to say that i'm sorry okay what's your game plan here why are you doing this i believe you're being serious but i not so sure. I believe you're being sincere. Oh, nice, Allison. Do you know what it's like to be the best player on the team? <laughs> to have every single person of the game chanting your name. And then some kid, some kid just comes along and then everyone starts looking at him instead of you. I mean, then you just use that as a way to try and make yourself better. Like, I, I never understand this whole glory thing. I've, I've never understood this whole, like, I need to be the one that people are chanting about. I need to be the one that people think, oh, if we didn't have him on the team, we'd be losing. Because, like, I understand it on a base human level of, like, you want to get glory and it feels good and all of that. But using that feeling to attack and take down someone else because they are inherently better at something than you like come on now if it's that important to you then either use it to make yourself better or just accept that you are not better simple haven't you ever learned there's no i in teaming mm -hmm. yeah but there is a me <laughs> <laughs> you must really really hate me <laughs> I mean, you're an asshole. <laughs> not at all you sure because i'm i'm not a bad guy anyone who says i'm not a bad guy i don't trust <laughs> why do you have to say it i really i really like you both and I want you guys to like me. I want to get to know you guys better. So, what are you reading? Yeah, I don't like his behavior. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. What was going on there? I haven't seen you all day. I, uh, yeah, I've been uh, super busy. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my partners, by the way. Oh, to who? To you, dummy. Oh, me. no. See, Scott, this is what I mean. If you need to stay away from her, you need to break up. You can't do this by just pretending... And just like making yourself not see her as much because that's not how that works. You don't mind, do you? I just, I don't um, want to bring your grade down. I mean, maybe I can bring your grade up. <laughs> Styles is literally me in this situation. You familiar with the term sarcasm recall? It, very. <laughs> <laughs> Styles is like, yep. <laughs> how about you summarize uh, the previous night's reading? How about you summarize anything you've ever read <laughs> in your entire life? How about uh, how about uh, the back of a cereal box? 
To be fair though, this teacher is so like confrontational. I don't, I would be getting like stressed. Bring Thanks. it down, bring it down, Next bring it down. You start with suicide runs. Unless that's too much reading. Yeah, I thought so. She leant forward. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I suppose you can take it one of two ways. You can say that Allison could be a weakness in the Allison would make him too docile and not able to control himself. But if she is there being the thing that helps him learn to control himself, then that could be very beneficial. It's finding the balance of finding a way to tap into anger when you need it, but also having a way to bring yourself back down. So it's good that Allison can help him with this, but also you don't want it to become a crutch. You don't want the only way for him to come down be you like through Allison. Remember the night of the first lacrosse game? You said you could hear a voice out on the field. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. well, so that's what brought you back so you could score. And then after the game, uh, in the locker room, you didn't kill okay. him. At least not so even the thought of her brings him down. That's good then. She's kind of like an anchor. I mean, yeah, I exactly. agree. Did I just say that? Yes, you just said that. <laughs> I love her. That's great. Now move. This is very early to be having those feelings, but I won't stop you, Scott. <laughs> Whatever happens, just think about Allison. Try to find her voice like you did at the game. Oh my God, Styles. Hey! Bro? Oh what the my heck? god. <laughs> Styles, this is so fucked up. <laughs> oh my Christ. Oh, is he listening out for her? He's trying to find her, okay. Good job. I need your help. If you can hear me, I need you to give me a sign. Blink. Raise a finger, anything. Just. It's about the spiral, isn't it? Just something to point me in the right direction, okay? Someone killed Laura. Your niece? Whoever he is, he's an alpha now. But he's one without a pack, which means he's not as strong. Like, if you know something, just give me a sign. Is it one of us? Or, like, one of the family? Someone else making out of the fire? Ah, okay. <laughs> Say something! Let him go! You think Yikes. that six years of this yelling at him is going to get a response? I don't have any more time. Yeah, but okay, that was an interesting conversation though because he mentioned that he's an alpha, but he's one without a pack, which means he's not strong. Are we talking like physical strength or are we talking like strength by numbers? Because strength by numbers, then obviously he's not going to be as strong if he doesn't have any betas underneath him. But if we're talking like physical strength, does that mean that like the more betas that an alpha has, the stronger that he is? Because that could be a cool thing to add into the mix. But yeah, okay, so we're... Ooh. Oh, he's trying to respond. So what, are we going to take that as like a yes, maybe? That it is someone from Derek's family? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I know it's detention and all, but uh, I'm supposed to be at work and I don't want to get fired. <laughs> Smiling. I'm a bit confused about this teacher's methods, though, because, like, uh, uh, Scott was laying on the floor getting beaten up. So you did that to help me learn? Yep. A part so you punished me. Yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> you're my best friend, and I, I can't have you being angry with me. I love that the teacher's just sitting there like, oh my god, this is some great tea. <laughs> All right, both of you, out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Bless that teacher. He was like, right, they've had their little therapy session. They're good to go. <laughs> Scott, you're late again. Oh no. I hope this isn't getting to be a habit. Oh no. Oh. Want to know about the animal you found with the spiral on its side? What animal? Three months ago. The deer. Oh. You remember this? Oh, it had a spiral on it. Okay. They called me because they wanted to know if I'd ever seen anything like it. Told them no. Oh, Did you hear that? The sound of your heartbeat rising. Oh. <gasps> Excuse me? It's the sound of you lying. Oh, he could tell people are lying. That's sick. Okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Oh. Scott, get out of here. Are you out of your mind? What are you talking about? You want to know what the spiral means, Scott? It's our sign for a vendetta, for revenge. It means he won't stop killing until he's satisfied. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn, that was a quick change. Nice. Hit him again. And then you'll see me get angry. Good job, Scott. But um, yeah, I don't think this guy's the alpha. I think what's probably going on here is 
he I, d I don't think he's being like directly blackmailed but i think it might be a situation of like he was threatened in some way about revealing facts about something and so he's just being cautious and not saying anything that's what i would take from this i would take it that that's why he was lying but yeah i don't think this guy's the alpha i think it will eventually be it'll eventually be either someone from derek's family or someone related to scott and i don't mean related related i mean we did have that inkling that it could be scott's father because we heard about um because like when we were talking about the parent teach conference we were mentioning his father it was like he's not in the picture but it doesn't mean that he's dead so he is somewhere so it could be him but i think it's either going to be someone that scott knows or someone that derek knows i don't think it's going to be this like random and i mean like knows knows not just like this random boss that of the place that scott works am i making any sense i'm trying to say that of anyone i think that it will be someone very close to scott or very close to derek i don't think it's going to be a random give me an hour then what Meet me at the school in the parking lot. You gotta be careful now, Derek, though, because that guy can file a police report. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so that was linked with the Alpha. I'm gonna see if you're right. How? I'm confused. Right. All you. <clears throat> oh, God. Awoo! <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> right, I think what we need to do here, Scott, we need to get you a little bit angry. We need you to change, and then I feel like you will instinctively do an actual howl because that was fucking horrendous. Was it okay? I mean, that was a howl, right? No, no. Yeah, technically. No, don't even say that, Styles. It was awful. You're calling me Alpha. All right, be a man. Be a werewolf, not a team wolf. <laughs> Team Wolf. You werewolf. Name drop. Okay. <laughs> Even Derek's like, fuck. What the hell was that? What are you trying to do? Attract the entire state to the school? Sorry, I didn't know it'd be that loud. Yeah, it was loud. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> oh, he's here. What fuck. What? Oh. No, I don't believe it. I think it's a red herring. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck. Nah, he's not dead. Come on now. We're not just going to kill Derek off like that. Is that the end? You bastards. Oh, what an annoying way to end an episode. So yes, there we have season one, episode six of Team Wolf. Now, obviously we've ended on a very dramatic moment. I don't think that Derek is dead. They played it off there like that was what it was, but I don't think so. I don't think they kill him off like that. And he's still very much necessary to the story with his uncle and this whole thing of him teaching Scott. So I don't see that as being his end, but very suspicious about the veterinarian. Like, I, I just, I feel like it's a red herring, guys. I feel like it's one of those moments of, like, they were all really caught up in the moment. He uh, woke up, unlocked the car, and ran himself because he was terrified. And then the alpha turned up. I just feel like this is too much of a, like, they're really trying to make us think that he's the alpha. I mean, for all I know, I'm being stupid, and he very well is. But I just, I, I choose not to believe stuff like this. Until I've seen the literal man turn into the wolf... I'm not accepting it. But yeah, other than that, though, overall, that was a great episode. I'm very intrigued about the Jackson stuff as well, because I just, I, I'm a little bit confused as to where he lies in all of this, because he's been scratched by Derek, but it doesn't seem like a scratch is something that will turn you, but he is hallucinating and he's not behaving like himself. So what is going on? Does it like have a lingering effect on people, but it isn't actually something that will cause them to turn? Or is Scott him or Scott is Jackson himself just like fucking losing his mind? But yeah, that scene with Allison was so uncomfortable. Like the way he was being so, um, what's the correct word? Like so forward. And so like, he was just getting way too close to her and it was making me uncomfortable. Felt very intimidating and threatening, even though that wasn't what he was saying. You know, it was just the vibe he was giving off. Also, it does seem like Scott is learning to have some control. So I think this discovery that Allison is the thing that grounds him is definitely going to be beneficial for him. And like Derek said, it's a different experience for Scott and it and Derek. Like Derek grew up as a wolf. He grew up knowing that that, that was a part of him and how to control it and all of that. Whereas with Scott, it's a very new thing. He's already had like his established time as a kid and time growing into himself to then have this such big change 
it's going to be very, a very different experience to try and learn to get through. So I like that we're already dealing with the idea that Scott's coping mechanisms and Scott's way of doing, doing things are different to Derek's. Like Derek is saying, ignore Allison, like destroy your phone, completely get rid of all distractions. Whereas the distractions are the very things that are allowing him to bring himself back down. So I like that we're dealing with a, it's like a teacher who like doesn't have all of the tools available to help you. He's trying his hardest, but Scott is going to have to learn some of these things on his own, which I do really enjoy. But yes, anyway, with that said, though, another great episode, really enjoying where we're going. And I'm very excited to see where we go after this episode, especially now that the alpha has actually been called by Scott. But yes, anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We're able to find the early and cut reactions to Team Wolf and all the other shows that I do. Also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.